my dreams I visit this place. The only one that never changes. My escape. My quiet haven. Kind of reminds me of the place with the Queen of Maggots. Ew! Okay, I did not need real maggots on my screen, okay? Please. Ah! The size seems a little bit wrong. Why is it so small? Helen Road. But the, the end is kind of gone, so it looks like Hell Road. Lovely. Twelve Helen Road. This is where we live. Oh! Here we go. This is Susan's apartment, right? Wait, so I made this assumption that the hotel and the... Apartment were the same place, because when we were playing the Cat Lady, we saw the Quiet Haven Hotel sign in the basement, but it seems like they might be two distinct places? Or... This might be a dream. A communal mailbox. Joe and Ivy Davis, flat 4. Looks like there's something inside. It's locked, but maybe I could just force it open? Damn it. My fingers are too big. If only I could pry it open with something. With a magnet. <laughs> I remember this guy, Bob. We hired him when we moved to my parents' place a few years back. It's been our home ever since. No. Even if I had time for this, they're all wilted anyway. It's a door to the basement. Nobody goes down there anymore. It's locked. Is that a mirror? Oh, there's no... There's no stairs. Oh, it's a locker. Looks like it's been moved recently. This looks like one of my books. What's it doing here? Stephen King, Misery. Most of the books I own are written by Stephen King. What can I say? I'm a fan. Oh my god. A screwdriver? Inside a book? How odd. I'll better take it with me. Okay, well that is the exact same thing as what happened in... The Cat Lady with Susan? Great. The staircase has been blocked by this wall. Is that a dream thing? Just sort of makes sense, because it's a dream. It's okay. It's perfectly normal to find screwdrivers inside books when you're dreaming. And this is all just a dream, right? Is it gonna say that I haven't been visiting my psychiatrist for a while? It's from Frank Zalman. Do I know him? The name seems vaguely familiar. Oh my god, it is. There's a 10 pound note and key inside. Weird. Why would anyone send me this? You're not gonna read the letter? Why would anyone send me money? There's nothing to pay for here. Whoever sent me this key must be trying to help me. Uh, you come to conclusions quickly. I wouldn't be so quick to assume that. I got a letter from my psychiatrist in the mail with a key to the basement of my apartment. Just dream things. It won't work. 
The furnace has been broken for years. Nothing happened. Rusty old furnace. And yeah, it's broken. Oh, they have a lot of new sound effects now, huh? The sound design feels a bit improved. Keep it open? Our cat Lucifer would have loved this toy clock. That's right, Lucifer! I'm pretty sure it was spelled with a PH though. <laughs> the cat! I mean, have we seen that clock before? And there is uh, the dress rack. Who's there? Hey, who are you? I'm too scared. Who even buys this sort of stuff? The cat seems to love it though. Do you want ten dollars? Oh! Whoa! Do you want ten dollars? <laughs> oh my god! Well, that's one hell of a dream to have. Still got the money. And the clock. What time is it? Can I check the clock? Who was that? Ivy? She must have already gone downstairs. It's breakfast time. Is it 8 a.m.? Getting killed in your dream seems to be... I don't know, look of some dream interpretation site. Stresses in real life? This is all wrong. Ivy always slept on my left side. It's very old. And entirely cracked. Single beds. No, that's not all right. We've been together for nearly 10 years. That's a long time for two people to be so close. No, not now. It's morning time, right? So I feel like there should be more patrons around here. Because apparently, every room is booked and full. Yeah, there's probably no point in me looking over here again. But I'll try it anyway. Dude, this hotel! The storm is still raging! What is with this hotel? The walls, the ceiling, it's peeling. No wonder they didn't charge me anything. It's not worth paying anything for. Oh my god. Who is this patron who keeps fiddling with everything? Gosh. Hello? I assume breakfast is here? Oh my... Good morning, Mr. Davis. Did you sleep well? They're not even people. Oh my god. Where? The fuck is my wife? Oh, Mr. Davis? Such foul language. You might be the man I thought you were, after all. Full of surprises, without a doubt. Where the fuck is my wife? Oh, she had to go. Not at first. She sat here for a bit. Wrote a note, a letter, I think. Maybe it's to you. But then she met Sophie. Who? They got on like a house on fire. They might just as well have been friends for years. 
They're still here somewhere. But I don't think she wants you to look for her. Joe? Uh, uh, what? Who is that, Sophie? Her room is just behind your wall. 102. I told you it's not good to disturb her. Now that she's awake, she will never leave. I don't know who you are, but stay the hell away from us. And I thought we were friends, Joe. Why would but we I be? Can help it. Take a sit. Eat with us. You'll feel all these worries fade away in no time at all. <laughs> no thanks. What a bad way to start the day, Mr. Davis. They say it's the most important meal of the day. This is madness. I've got to go. I'll find my wife and we're leaving. I was afraid you'd say that. But fine. I won't stand in your way. As a matter of fact, I'll help you. I've left a key to Sophie's room on the reception desk. Maybe it's not too late. Uh, it's kind of funny how you can choose between the nuclear options. Where the fuck is my wife? And then the other option will just be like, no thanks. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, I wanted to check the kitchen. Is that the same cat? From when we were little? Oh, she's gone, of course. Those aren't even people, though. Like, oh my god. You little bastard. Do you like a clock? Would you like a clock if I put it here? Would you like a magnet? <laughs> I gotta get you away, don't I? Okay, you took the key! Huh. What the heck? What the heck? Oh, you're not even gonna give me the... Uh... Okay... That's a very nice painting. You're not even gonna give me the key. You're just gonna open it directly for me, aren't you? What the hell? Which way now? There's a little green dot on the mirror. And then the, this one's completely black. What the heck? Oh, it's that painting! It's that creepy ass painting. That's a horse. What is going on? Oh, maybe they want me to enter the creepy ass painting door? I mean, that's the only one I recognize. This one? Oh my god. Ah! No, don't watch it! You'll have to make someone else watch it in the next seven days if you don't want to die. Oh my god. What the hell? There's a cold draft coming through. Oh my god! What is happening?! Where are we being taken to? 
that swan thingy in the back looks familiar. Oh! If you look uh, behind Joe, that's the, the cup, the teacup. That's where me and Ivy met when we were little. Really? Oh, I see what people mean now when they say this is more surreal. Home sweet home. Because you can't really tell what's happening and what's not. It's just all sort of mangled together. Oh, are we gonna get killed again? No stairs. But no key. But it's already open. There you are. This is the end of the road, you sneaky son of a bitch. And the fact that Joe isn't even saying like, Whoa, what the heck is happening? Where am I? Just goes to reinforce that this might not be really happening. Oh, come on. You let the cat get away at a dead end? We're still inside the TV right now, right? Oh, it's a puzzle. Okay. Would you like a cat clock? Where would I put the cat clock? Oh, and then maybe it'll get entranced by it? Oh! Oh! Oh, no! No! Why is that guy here again? Oh my god. No! What? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. No! No! It was broken! Ouch, it's too hot. Get it with a magnet? Let's try this. I've got it. <gasps> you can kind of see a face in the, the smokes. Oh, it's still warm. What? Oh my god. Oh my god. How did I? I feel like I'm just constantly saying oh my god now because I got nothing else to say. I don't really know what happened, but I assume in real life, if we're even really here, we just chased around the cat and finally got the key somehow. Is that creepy painting still here? No. Uh, I'm kinda scared. Oh. It's still warm. Here goes nothing. Oh my god. <gasps> it's this room! What? Well, that's not Ivy though, right? So was that ever Ivy? When we saw her previously? Why is she wearing a mask? Who are you? You know damn well who I am, Joe. 
Is your name Sophie? <laughs> See? It wasn't that hard now, was it? There's no bed in this place, just broken mirrors. Where's my wife? She's still around here somewhere, but hidden away, so you couldn't find her. But why? Why would she have to hide from me? She found a monster inside her, and no one can ever see. Even you. What is this place? Why all the... mirrors? <laughs> this is the madness, Joe. Let's try to enjoy it while we can. I'm not mad. It's this place that's mad. I'm mad? I'm mad because you guys made me kill a cat. Jeez. There's something wrong going on here, and you will tell me what it is. Oh, there's plenty wrong here, Joe. I don't know where to start, and I'm not sure if you're ready for it yet. You didn't answer my question. Where are we? I don't know where you are, Joe. But I am home. Why did you break all these mirrors? Let's just say your lovely wife can put up quite a fight. But it was not enough. She did mention something about mirrors previously, right? Is my wife behind a mirror? Did you say... a monster? Don't tell me you didn't see it. It's been... lurking around for quite a while. There are no monsters. You don't know what you're talking about. But you know this monster, Joe. It's the kind that lives in your mirror and whispers bad things when you're alone. And if you start listening, it grows stronger. Then, then there is no going back. You fall and keep falling until there is nothing. Do you want to see? Just look into one of these broken mirrors here. Go on, see it for yourself. I'm kind of curious. But it's gonna be something bad. Okay, I'll do it. Which one? Any. Oh my god. It's cracked, just like the other mirrors in here. This is like some advanced 3D thing, but at the same time, it's so low res for some reason. <laughs> oh! For yourself. Isn't she a pretty, pretty girl? <laughs> it doesn't really matter if you believe in monsters, Joe. It won't make them go away, you know? Sometimes, there's just nothing you can do. But sometimes, if you're willing to sacrifice everything, you can achieve the impossible. I don't want to make a deal with a devil. I'll do anything to save Ivy. Good. Then I'll tell you what to do. It's very... simple, really. 
You just have to kill me. What? Why? I want to die, Joe. It's no big deal. I'm just a memory anyway. We kill memories all the time. What do you mean, you're a memory? That's exactly what I am. A memory of Sophie. There are four of us here. The others are mostly raving lunatics. But not me. <laughs> if you kill us all, you will open her hiding place. A world inside a mirror. The only one that's still not broken. But, how do I know if you're telling the truth? Look around you. You're not in Kansas anymore. I'd already told you. This is the madness, Joe. Uh, <coughs> and you're not the lunatic one. This is so messed up. It's very simple. Kill four memories. But me first. It's kind of like the five parasites, but we have four memories here. But who the heck is Sophie though? Somebody who stayed at this hotel and now her memories are stuck here? I can't just kill you. Who do you think I am? <laughs> but you killed the cat, didn't you? Not on purpose! Yeah, it was that creep! I didn't kill the cat. It was that creep. With an axe. Ah, the sweet denial. You don't understand what happened. I... I didn't mean to burn it. But... What else could you have done to get that key? Wait for that poor animal to shit it out? No. We both know the truth, Joe. You are not a patient man. You knew from the start that this kitty had to fry. Now be a man and admit it. And then... Kill me. I wonder if the axe man is like a future version of me or something. He didn't look like me though, but who knows. Well, in the cat lady, we pissed off the queen of maggots. Should I piss her off here? Uh, we'll talk about the cat first. I swear, I didn't kill the cat on purpose. An accident? Interesting. But, never mind. What happened happened, Joe. Why should you explain yourself to me? Curious about how to kill you, but I don't want to kill you in the end. How? How should I kill you? Poison me. What? Just give me something. I want to go to sleep and never wake up again. It won't hurt that way. I... I don't. I'll do it myself, Joe. I think that old fool Dr. Z had a stash of poison down in the basement. All I need is for you to find it and bring it here. This is a terrible idea. There's no other way. I am that one good memory of Sophie, you know? Just before things went to shit. And that's why I have to die first. Oh, I can say I'll think about it, or just straight up reject her. Dr. Z? Zalman? We had a Dr. X. <sighs> we'll do it without the help. Although, it might just end up with me killing everybody anyway, just like with Susan. <laughs> I can do this without your help. Joe, you never listen. It's time to open your eyes. No. Dang. We already did this one, right? This is... 
So messed up. It's... Kill? Yeah. But... I'll... Think about it. Oh, I know you will. You won't let me not think about it. Will you? Why is she wearing a mask? Cause I'll recognize her? Oh my god. There wasn't a phone in my room, right? I don't actually remember seeing a phone before, but if there was one, it should be by the receptionist. Who we haven't seen for a while. There's nothing unusual about it. Are you sure? <laughs> Okay. I guess it's too late to get out now. The imagery of some random lady waiting for me to pick up the phone is so funny. It's like a villain on the line. Come on, man. Joe, why the hell aren't you picking up? <laughs> She's all whispery and stuff, too. Oh. It goes down. Okay. <laughs> We're on ground floor right now. Look at this fancy elevator, these fancy graphics. It's kind of like a mirror behind us, isn't it? Oh. Oh! Wait, what? But we go upstairs. But it takes us... Okay, yeah. Don't think so hard about it. Nothing makes sense anyway. But just to make sure. Yeah, it does go back here. She said to go to the basement, but I don't see why we wouldn't just... We can't even go to the basement here. Unless if the fourth floor is the basement. Oddly enough, taking the elevator lets us get around the trash that was in the stairs, blocking our way up. Fancy meeting you here, Joe. I thought you'd be long gone by now. Oh, it must be that weather. Nasty. Then again, it always rains here. I'm not going anywhere until I save my wife. Oh yes, the lovely Ivy. Or rather, the ungrateful bitch always busy fucking your life up. You know nothing about Ivy. Still searching for her, are we? Well, go on then. I'll wait. Just let me know when you've had enough. Then you can have me. Any way you want. Uh, who even are you? <laughs> it's only the timing that's wrong. But if you ask me another time, maybe I'll feel differently. <laughs> I don't want you. Leave me alone. Stop fighting it. You and Ivy are done. She doesn't want you. It's time to move on. It's not for you to decide. Fine. Get on with your wild goose chase. There's no rush. But come find me in my office later. You'll see what a naughty girl I am. If this isn't real, would that lady represent what uh, maybe an ideal woman in my mind is like? Because I feel like we're, we can all be dating people, but very rarely are they ever like um 11 out of 10, perfect in every way for us kind of person, right? So maybe in his mind, that's what a perfect woman would be like. Mm. 201. This is above my bedroom, or below. 
Looks like a ter terrarium for a spider. A spider? You could keep a pet tarantula in it. Not that I ever would. I hate spiders. Okay, good. We're on the same page here. Tempting. Chair. Is this an electric chair? There's some cables running from the chair further into the room. Electric? What is that? Dr. Z? Z? Hi. What's that? I'm busy. Just get on with it and be quick. Who are you? Why? <laughs> Have we not been acquainted yet? I think I'd remember a man covered in blood, dressed as a doctor, performing brain surgery. A live brain surgery. Jesus, man, what the? Now this, this here, is called a Lazarus sign. Worry you not, it often occurs post-mortem, but I assure you, this lady has been well and truly dead for quite some time now. Lazarus sign? Lazarus indicating revival. Huh. So it's kind of like a revival, but it's not. She's actually just dead. So... it's an autopsy? Not exactly. I'm still trying to save her. You said she's dead. It's... Too late. It is never too late. I feel like this is one of those conversations that would make a lot of sense in hindsight. Am I trying to save Ivy or something? Because earlier she was all like, you try to save me, Joe, but you failed. Which is really guilt trippy, by the way. <laughs> who is she anyway? What? Who? What do you mean, who? The girl on the table with her head cut open. Oh, her, yes. I'm not quite sure, but my assumption is she is of great significance in all of this. I think her name is... Agnes. So you knew her when she was alive? Oh, no, not really. It was embroidered in her knickers. What? Oh, my God. What's going on here? Oh, I'll tell you what is going on. Bad, bad things are going on, and I'm not impressed. What bad things? Don't tell me you didn't notice. The whispering from the walls. Those shadows in the corner of my eye, they move when I look at them, but they're there, all right. Watching. You're crazy. No. No, no, no. It's this place that is crazy. I'm only trying to fix it. I'm trying to find my wife. Well, you won't find her here, that is certain. Most visitors I get are stiff as a board. But don't get me wrong, that's fine with me. This way I really get to see the sick filth that fills their troubled little heads. Mmm. Downfall probably continues on the mental health themes that Cat Lady had, right? Or... Again, I say this, but I mean the other way around, really, because this game came before. Who are you, really? Isn't it quite clear enough? I'm a doctor. If I can't save us all from this downfall, then no one can. Downfall. Downfall into madness? Like a descent? Can you save me? Yes. But I need your help. Don't worry, it's nothing complicated. All I need you to do is this. Bring me something. From the cellar. I'll give you the key. Bring what? You'll know when you see it. I'm sure you will. Can you go and fetch it for me? He's helping me, so I feel like it's reasonable for me to go get it. Fine. I'll go to the cellar. Good. Go. Quickly. Here's the key. I'll get everything ready. Okay, he didn't give me his name, and I guess since this is not the basement, that's not Dr. Z. Z? 
Where was that cellar door? I'm sure I saw it. It was at the foot of the stairs. A live surgery on the brain, like something- Can you hear that? It's the ticking of the clock, and it's getting louder! Okay, I'm going! Uh, what about this, though? Yeah. Signifying something wrong with the brain, right? Um, like mentally? A surgery of the brain. I'm not sure what it does now. I'll better leave it alone for now. You know, I've been wondering about this since the previous game, but the way they say, I'll better leave it alone, I wonder what region uses that kind of speech. Because if I said the sentence, I think I would say something more like, I better leave it alone. I'll better leave it alone. The UK, I guess, judging by how this game seems to be set in England. <laughs> 